Hi, oh, welcome to Welding Fabrication. My name's Harry. Um, today we're going to be looking at doing a T joint in the horizontal vertical position or PB, position PB. Um, there's a misconception obviously between uh, when I say uh, T joint, uh, people often refer to it as a T fillet. Um, and the difference is that the fillet is the type of weld that's going into the, the joint type, and the joint itself is a T joint that we're going to be looking at. Um, so, this is the sort of joint style we're going to be looking at today. So, nice and simple, and we're going to be welding on the bench. So, we've got our horizontal plane and our vertical plane. So, it's called horizontal vertical, and that's position PB. Um, just a little bit of information in regards to what we call leg lengths and understanding the size of the weld that you might want to require. Um, and in that instance, Quick diagram here, so we've got what we call the leg length. If we look to an end view from our weld, we've got our weld profile and the penetration that we'd be looking for in certain instances into the, the face of the parent material. Um, and we've got our leg length, which is the, between the root and what we call the toe of the weld. And the toe, there's two toes um, to a, a fillet weld. Um, and then we also have the root in terms of the corners, so the penetration, we're looking at the root of the weld. And between the root and the apex, we're looking at the actual throat thickness. So the throat thickness, in terms of terminology, throat thickness is between the root and the apex, and the, the leg length is between the root and the toe. So our leg length, if we're welding six mil material, realistically our, our leg length wants to be somewhere in the region between six and eight millimeters in terms of length. Um, so it's quite important. So your travel speed, in terms of the, the time spent when you're welding, that will affect, is one, one thing that will affect um, the amount of uh, or the size of the weld, should I say. The other thing we need to look at is things like uh, undercut on the toe as well. So if we have undercut, then it's more susceptible, we call a stress razor, and then it's more likely to crack, potentially if there's a huge amount of load applied to that piece of material, it could crack at the toe of the weld as well. So there are certain aspects we're looking at uh, for this particular diagram. Um, leg lengths and throat thickness, and that's what we're gonna be looking at in terms of our weld itself. Okay. Um, so the joint type we're going to be looking at, as I said, was a T-joint, so we're going to be welding in the horizontal vertical position. Um, and what we're going to do is, machine-wise, approximately somewhere in the region of about 23 and a half volts. Current-wise, somewhere between 140 to 160. Um, that would be the sort of range we'll be looking at. Gas flow rate as normal, so it's going to be 12 to 14 litres per minute. And we're using a 0.8 wire. Okay. So, uh, turn the gas on. I've already preset my, my regulator, so that's already preset at... Uh, 12 to 14 litres per minute, turn the machine on. Um, and you can see at the moment on our volt and our meter, there's nothing reading there at the moment until we actually arc up. But I've, settings I've got it on is three and five, and I've got my wire on 11 metres per minute. Okay? Um, so our setup is pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is just go through uh, angles and also positioning in terms of welding. So it's obviously important, try and get yourself comfortable that's, that's quite an important thing when welding. Um, in terms of your positioning, in terms of your positioning, in terms of your positioning, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to angles wise, it's a 90 degree angle on the material, so I'm going to be coming in approximately 40 to 45. So gravity is going to work against us, it's going to drop slightly more onto the bottom plate as we're welding. So we're going to take that into consideration. So we're going to be between 40 and 45 degrees, and our angle of slope in terms of direction of travel, we're going to drop that back to about 80. So we're going to push through the face of the material, never drag, always push. And remember, if you're, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to go left to right. If you're right-handed, you're going to go right to left. Okay, and it's always just try and get your other hand in to support your, your body and to make sure that your hand's nice and steady when we're, when we're welding through. Okay, right. So our leg lengths are reasonably even in terms of size, and they're approximately between six and eight millimeters in size as well. So it's about the size of the world we're looking at for the thickness of the material in terms of six mil thick material. Okay. Uh, and you can see on the front of the machine, 
current range, so we're 23.6 in terms of the voltage and 156 in terms of the current, measured in amperes. Thank you very much.